My name is Mohib Zara, and I'm a developer advocate with EMQX. EMQX is a powerful open source MQTT broker, and today I'm gonna to show you how to connect it with the new Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi. This is a very powerful development board that's uh, very easily available, and you can build awesome IoT projects with it. So without further ado, let's get started. To begin, you'll of course need an Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi, which can be purchased directly from the Arduino store online or from other vendors. Next, you'll want to install EMQX, the open source MQGT broker. If you go over to our Hackster.io page or follow the link in the description of this video, you'll find a tutorial to do all of this. And partway through that tutorial are instructions for running EMQX locally. There's a link you can follow, emqx.io downloads, that gives you instructions for various operating systems. Uh, for the purposes of this guide, I'm actually using the EMQX add-on for Home Assistant, which runs EMQX on an existing Home ins Assistant installation and gives you full access to the dashboard. Once you have EMQX installed locally, you would navigate to the address for your dashboard, which can be found here, and you'll create a new authenticator so that you can create a new user for your devices to connect as. So here in my dashboard, I go to authentication. I click create, create a new password-based authenticator, use the built-in database, use all of the default options, and create that new authenticator. Then I select users, and I add a new user. In this case, we'll set it to Arduino as the username and pass as the password. Next, navigate to the Arduino website to download the latest version of the Arduino IDE for your operating system. With the Arduino IDE installed, the first thing you need to do is install the board definition for the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi. You can do that by selecting the icon for the boards manager from the left-hand side. Type in Arduino R4 and install the Arduino Uno R4 boards. I already have it installed. And then next, you'll want to go to the library manager and download and install the Arduino MQTT client, all one word and install that. We need to program the Arduino sketch. In the Hackster.io tutorial, there is an example sketch that you can copy and paste into the Arduino IDE. Next, we need to configure the Arduino sketch. So we add in our Wi-Fi credentials, our SSID and password. And we add in the MQTT user that we created in EMQX. The defaults are already set here for Arduino as the user and pass as the password. Then we add in the IP address or host name of the host machine that is serving up our EMQX broker. In this case, I am running it on a Home Assistant installation, which is serving up at homeassistant.local. And we use the default port 1883. Next, we configure the subscription topic and the publishing topic. Here, we've set it to default slash hello for subscribing to. So this is the topic that this sketch is subscribed to. So any messages that are published to the topic slash hello will be printed to the console over serial. And then every few seconds, the sketch will publish random data to the topic slash hello slash world. With all of those variables configured, we can now program the Arduino R4 Wi-Fi. To do so, make sure that you have it selected. And so you'll have to plug in your Arduino to USB-C. I've now plugged in the Arduino Uno to USB-C, and I can select it here from the menu. And we now simply hit Upload, which will verify that the sketch is valid and that there are no errors, and then it will upload the, the compiled code to the Arduino Uno. Now we can go to Tools and Serial Monitor. This will allow us to see what's going on on the Arduino. We see here that the Arduino Uno successfully connected to the Wi-Fi network and then connected to the MQTT broker and subscribed to the topic slash hello and is waiting for any messages published to the topic. We also know that since it's connected, it's publishing that message every three or so seconds. 
Now we would want to send messages to this Arduino and see those messages be logged in the serial console. So we're going to use MQTTX, which is a free client application that you can find at mqttx.app. Once installed, create a new connection. You can name this whatever you like. Set your host for your EMQX instance. In this case, it's homeassistant.local. Your port and then your username. You can use the same user credentials that the Arduino is using, or you can create a separate, separate user that your MQTTX or other client could connect as. Then we click connect, and now we're connected. Here, you can publish messages by just typing in the topic. So we type in slash hello here with an arbitrary message and click send. Now we should see it show up here in the serial console. And here we have it received. While this was JSON that was published to this Arduino sketch uh, that it received, it does not actually have the ability to parse it yet. For that, we'll want to use another library called Arduino JSON, which you can find from the library manager by typing in Arduino JSON and download the first result. If you navigate back to the Hackster.io tutorial, you'll see that at towards the bottom we have an example sketch for using Arduino JSON with MQTT connecting the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi to EMQX. So simply copy that sketch and configure it just as you did before. We configured this sketch and we're uploading it once again. And this version of the sketch uses the Arduino JSON library, where when publishing a message, we call out to a new function we've created that uses the Arduino JSON library to create a JSON buffer that is then published. And anytime a message is received, it uses the Arduino JSON library to deserialize that JSON so that we can go through it using its key value pair. So we see here that it is connected and it is publishing messages. Let's go back to MQTTX. Here, we were publishing that JSON message initially and our Arduino couldn't parse it. Now that it can parse it, let's publish that message. And we'll open up the serial console and we'll see that it was able to parse through it and pull out just that key value by referencing message, the key name. We also now know that the Arduino is publishing messages through JSON, so let's subscribe to those messages. We know that it's on the topic, slash hello, slash world. We click confirm, and now we see those values come through. We see that it's a JSON object with a key time, which is the timestamp, and the value of the sensors pin on analog pin zero. Congratulations, you now have the tools to build powerful IoT applications using your Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi and EMQX, an open source MQTT broker. You can publish and subscribe to messages and using MQTT, which is a popular IoT protocol, you can connect websites or other applications and other IoT platforms to your EMQX broker and control all your devices or uh, display sensor data or create automations. If you go to the hackster.io slash EMQ tech page, you'll find our other guides. So you could use a Raspberry Pi to run your EMQX instance and then install Node Red so that you could visually create applications uh, and automations. The possibilities are truly endless when you combine all three of these things or bring something else to the table or another service or platform. I'm really excited to find out what you might build using EMQX and be sure to go join our community, which you can find at emqx.io on the community tab. And be sure to join our Discord where we're going to be doing events and having lots of conversations around IoT and things people are building. Thank you for watching and I hope you build something really amazing. Have a wonderful day.